हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वर्ल्ड ऑफ फिजिक्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर गुलाम्स लॉ गुलाम्स लॉ टेल्स अस हाउ चार्जेस इंटरेक्ट वी नो दैट लाइक चार्जेस रिपेल ईच अदर एंड अनलाइक चार्जेस अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर बट यू नो हाउ मच फोर्स दे डू एंड इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर गुलाम्स लॉ टेल्स अस द क्वांटिटी ऑफ द फोर्स व्हिच मींस गुलाम्स लॉ इज अ क्वांटिटेटिव स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन टू पॉइंट चार्जेस two charges are said to be point charge if their sizes are much smaller than the distance separating them suppose you have two point charges one of them is positive q1 and another is positive q2 and the distance between their the center to center is r both charges are positive so they will repel each other the force on charge q1 due to charge q2 is act outwards in left direction and it is said to be F12, which means force on charge Q1 due to charge Q2. Similarly, force on charge Q2 due to charge Q1 is also acts outwards in the right direction. It is said F21, which means force on Q2 due to char- charge Q1. And this force act along line joining center of two point charges. This force are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction, which means F12 equals to minus of F21 and F equals to mod of F21 equals to mod of F21. So finally, come to statement of Coulomb's law. According to Coulomb's law, the force of interaction, attraction or repulsion between two point charges at rest is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of two point charges, which means F proportional to Q1 Q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance separating them. which means f proportional to 1 by r square this force act along the line joining center of two point charges therefore f proportional to q1 q2 by r square or f equals to k q1 q2 by r square where k is an electrostatic constant the value of k depends upon the nature of the medium between two point charges the value of k in free space or vacuum or in air is equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square